Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola G60S and today I will show you how you can capture a screenshot on this phone. Now to get started all you really need to do is open up the content that you wish to capture. So for that I'm going to be using settings just as an example. Once you have it open and visible, uh, all you need to do is press and hold power key and volume down at the same time. And that's it. As you can see, you get a sound. You have a couple little options right here that are visible, which will disappear in a second. Now, I'm going to do that again just so I can go over the options. So we have edit, we have share, we have uh, the photo lens up or whatever, and we have delete as the last option. And additionally, there was also one, one additional option visible there, which was the scrollable screenshot, which will allow you to capture a screenshot. So everything that you have visible on the screen, plus however far down you can go or however far down you want to actually go. So I'm gonna do that right now. So you just need to press this. As you can see it scrolls and you kinda wanna stop it. It looks like we do need to overshoot it by quite a quite a distance. And if you want to edit it, you can just tap on it and then uh, shrink it on there. So I'm gonna show that right now. As you can see, as let's say that I wanna and that help and feedback and not the entire thing. I'm gonna tap on this. And from here, you can tap right on this button. No wait, that's not this one. There we go. Edit and where's help and feedback? Wait, what? What, I, what help and feedback? Gee, there was no such a thing, I think. But let, let's just say I wanted to go to here, system update. And all I need to do now is just save it, allow, and this will crop it. Now, all the screenshots that I have just captured can be found in the Photos application. As you can see, there they are. Uh, by default, they are showing up here, uh, but that is only because I don't have any other photos. I think if you get normal photos, it creates uh, categories and it will store it in an album called Screenshots under, well, Albums. But from here we can view our screenshots. So there we go. So anyway, this is how you would capture your screenshots. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.